about Aoki Lee Simmons, y'all. Let's talk about Miss Simmons, y'all. Let's let's talk about Kamora and Russell's daughter, honey. Let's talk about Baby Leo, honey. Let's talk about Lil Ram. Lil, shout out Team Leo. Let me say that. What's up, Team Leo? Especially Team August Leo. Not nothing against you, July Leos, but I'm an August Leo, and I'm gonna speak to my my siblings, my 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 August month siblings, and be like, hi. Hi, that's what Ioki on, y'all. That's the type of energy Miss Miss Girl is on, okay? And keeping with the theme of us um, learning in the black community that we cannot keep people children has to remain the theme, okay? Um, Ioki is 21 years old, y'all. I know we are um, definitely talking about her kissing this old man, girl. Ugh. Do you look if you a little sugar baby out here and you you doing your thing and then you, you got a, a old ass man that's, that's half dead and almost in the grave paying your fucking bills and girl look do you sis let's make sure you put some money away make sure you invest in some money and that's that's my problem with little Aoki and I know she's 21 and she's doing a thing you know but girl save some of that money them old men is giving you okay. It's part of the problem, you know, and us Leos, we kind of have that bad. We we love to spend money, honey. We love a good gift, okay? We we, we love to, you know, we love, we, we love to be gifted money and we love to spend money. But some of us have an issue saving money and that's where our little August 16th Leo is. She is, uh, her chart is very, very um, balanced with both... Um, air and fire but she has more fire sign energy than she does in her um chart and she's mostly ruled by leo um i won't go off into the rest of her chart i'll just give you all her big three she is a leo sun a sagittarius moon and a libra rising to me she gives very balanced energy and i'm not just saying that because she's a leo and i'm a leo and i just love us leos Except for two of them, and we'll, we're not even going to mention their names. But anyway, she um she got big Leo energy, honey, and it's a thing of she does not want to be seen as a little girl anymore. I can remember going through that phase myself, being 18, 19, 20, let's just say between 18 and 21 or 18 and 22 to 24 years old i'm like yo i'm not a little girl in the black community there is an issue with us allowing our children to grow up or us allowing these stars to grow up i noticed that um even as people get grown y'all can't let them be grown motherfuckers be 37 years old and y'all ass still painting them in that little kid role um <laughs> might be his fault but for example look at bow wow Nobody can let him grow up. This nigga damn near 40 years old, okay? And he is still a uh, little bow wow, you know? It, it's crazy. Um, we got to let people grow up. We got to learn to let people grow up. And I think that the, that energy is bad in the black community. We keep people as children and then wonder why they behave as children or they do shit that we would consider childish or something that we feel like they're too old to do but when they're they're asserting themselves as adults <coughs> a lot of older black people and i know <coughs> excuse me y'all i know that um a lot of baby boomers have this bad they like to sun you if you will they like to keep you as a child and this is where aoki is with the energy she's exuding she is coming in as herself in the strength card trying to figure out what it is she wants she uh she pretty much got a look she got control over her life y'all she not gonna get out here and do nothing too crazy she's going to do some stupid shit because again she's a kid she's 21 she um she's rich she has rich parents she's got rich connections she's got resources that she can use you know but Somebody in her life feels like she's scatterbrained, feels like she's a little girl, feels like you ain't old enough for that. And they feel like her energy 
is really kind of reckless and bordering on self-control, you know, uh, being out of self-control. She's lacking self-control in the mind of this person. And we're going to get to that really quickly, too, who she's beefing with. Um, but for the most part, Aoki as a person is um, a very curious little person. She um, talks a lot. I want to say she does have some Gemini in her chart, too. And you know, you Geminis love to talk, and that's not a bad thing, but y'all know y'all can run y'all damn mouth. But she's very chatty, and she likes to communicate. She is courageous. That is in line with her Leo energy. However, the um, page of one, the Knight of Wands, excuse me, is very much so Sagittarius energy. So her maybe being the type of person that goes off on her own or takes off on her own tangents or marches to the beat of her own drum that's in alignment with her sag moon um whereas that this person that is expressing concern for her new lifestyle choices is seeing her as being reckless uh she has a plan like she um she first of all she wanted something new she wanted something new to do she got bored in a motherfucker and i'm telling you as a leo we get fucking bored um you know, she's a model. She does her thing. Like, Aoki has a lot going on other than she's just Kimura and Russell's daughter. She, um, I think she just graduated from NYU as well. Like, she's a smart young lady. So, again, expect her to do stupid shit because that's what kids do. But she's a grown woman. So, let me say that's what young people do. But she, um, she's looking for adventure. Her life became boring. She got tired of being just... Plain old rich old her, you know, she was being hypersensitive to situations. She felt like the only reason why she was being as sensitive to situations as she was because of the environment that she was in. And, you know, she broke down all on live a while ago because of the shit that her and Russell was going through, you know. Um, but she she's hard working, y'all. She. Although she is going to get off into some crazy shit, she pretty much, for the most part, is a pretty straightforward, pretty head-on-straight type of little person. And I don't think that we should be really concerned with the people that she's dating because us Leos be just doing shit, and she is literally just doing shit. But her doing shit was taught to her by the best, honey. Her idol, herself, honey, she idolizes the shit out of her mama. And there's nothing wrong with that. She loves Kimora, honey. Kimora is her everything, honey. She um, plans a lot of the things she does around what she thinks Kimora would think. She, had, she holds her mother in very high regard. And her relationship with her mother is fine. Um, her cards with the Two of Cups showing up, Empress and the Two of Wands, in my opinion, it may not be yours. But this is just how I sometimes interpret some of the cards I read. I also do this when I'm reading regular people. These two were soulmates. Um, Aoki and Kimura are soulmates. In a past life, they were probably um, sisters. This is the energy that I'm giving. And I'm not saying that Kimura treats her like a sister. But the relationship that they have is so close that she can literally tell Kimura anything. She trusts her mother. She, again, Kimura is in on a lot of the choices that Aoki has made and is going to make in the coming future. On the other side of things, however, the reason why she is choosing this sugar baby lifestyle, honey, this kept woman lifestyle. Like I said, Kimura taught her, honey. Okay, and I love Miss Kimura Lee Simmons, Miss South St. Louis, honey. But let's be real, honey. Miss Kimura got with Russell because he had all that coin. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, she done taught her daughter's baby, look here, don't you fuck with no broke one, and that's exactly what's going on, honey. She's following her mother's directive. And Russell is mad. <coughs> and I know y'all like, oh, it's wrong that Kimura did da 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 da. But baby, let me tell you something. The audacity of Russell Simmons motherfucking ass, Mr. Mr currently facing allegations alleged of of sexual abuse you know allegedly 
How dare you get mad because you're worried about the, the, the type of men that your daughter is running around with or the type of men that she might end up dating? How dare you, sir? The audacity is great. See, a lot of these dudes in hip hop have the attitude of not my daughter, but they were never thinking that when they were mistreating somebody else's daughter or a son, because, you know, a lot of these niggas like Buto, but we ain't going to go into that, into this. We're going to leave that alone. OK, we ain't get into that shit. But even though they loves to play and shit, clearly. But anyway, Russell felt like or feels like not my daughter. And he's trying to, again, little girl her. He's trying to hold on to her in a stance of, you know, telling her what to do. You know, when you get 21, your mama them ain't going to tell you shit. You know, I'm grown. That's basically what she on. She like, I'm grown. And it's almost a situation of like, Aoki feels like he broke her heart first. I don't know for sure what went on in their situation as, um, when Kamora and Russell were together and they were living as a family, but whatever went on in her life, he broke her heart. She's like, yo, you were the first man to break my heart. Anyway, why would I listen to you? And not only did you break my heart, doing whatever the fuck her cards are indicating something emotional went on, okay? This is something emotional, okay? Something went emotional went on. Not saying that Russell did anything to her malicious, but the way that he spoke to her on that live and the way he curses that girl out i can see why she is scared of her daddy i can see why she might worry a little bit about his opinion you know because she's tired of him hurting her you know he's rejected her in so many fucking fashions she like damn i i i still love my goddamn daddy but nigga weird shit so Aoki is hurt, you know. Whatever the fuck happened between her and Russell or whatever she saw him do to her mother, it has affected her and it has affected her image of men as well. Um, let me keep this card out because I want to speak more on why her and Russell are fighting um, and the things that he feels are considered superficial. So they're in a fight. They're in this situation where they're going back and forth. Y'all may have seen it or you may not have. Um, Aoki feels like he's being unfair and domineering and being everything that, you know, we assumed Russell Simmons was anyway. You know, being unfair, being stingy, abusing his power, you know, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's using his money and his power as her father to hold on to her as a little girl because, again, he has hurt so many other people's daughters. Make sure I get this up here. He has hurt so many other people's daughters. He is trying his damnness to make sure that his daughter doesn't get hurt, especially because that's his baby girl. Nah, he like, let me keep my baby a baby. Let me keep these niggas off my daughter. But you can't. You can't because, see, when they got into it, Russell decided, okay, fuck it, I'm going to cut your water off, you know. I'm going to cut your water off, make sure I ain't getting you nothing, I ain't doing nothing for you, you know. And Aoki is hurt. She's like, yo, you didn't, you the one that done spoiled me to this lifestyle of rich and famous and having money at my fucking fingertips. And now you're going to try to leave me out in the cold? Yo, that's fucked up, my nigga. That's fucked up. And I mean, I kind of feel her, but I kind of also feel Russell on them working. But the thing is, Aoki does work. I think that Russell is simply snatching his hand back and holding back money and being exactly, as she said, a weird-ass fucking tyrant. She didn't say that. This is what his cards indicate, him being a weird-ass fucking tyrant with his money and his fortune towards his own daughter just so he can try to keep her as a little girl. That's, that's mad abusive as fuck, okay? What's Russell Simmons? Like 62, 63? He's one of them fucking baby boomers. What did I just tell you? There's something the fuck wrong with them. His ego won't allow him. Excuse me, I'm gonna knock my shit out, my ear. Oh, there it is. I'm finna be nigger rigging shit, y'all. Excuse me. Anyway, his ego won't allow him to see her as a grown woman. His ego is holding on to her being that little girl that saw him as a superhero or that didn't see him 
doing any wrong to her mother. He was he wanted to always keep that image of himself. He didn't want her to see that wolf that he really is, and Aoki sees him for who he is. That's why she feels like it's fucked up, and it is. It is fucked up under the pretenses that he's only doing this just to be able to control her. So she like, all right, take your money, baby. Look, I'm just going to depart and do my own damn thing. Good. Now I'm no longer under your rule. An eight of swords being in reverse is the best thing for a Leo, honey. Okay. We do not like feeling captive. And although that money was good that her daddy had, Ayoki was feeling trapped. She like, damn, while I was spending my daddy's money, I was under his rule. Shit. And as soon as he got mad at me, the nigga snatched his fucking hand back and left me out here kind of fucked up. I mean, she wasn't poor like she had to work at fucking Target for, but she was experiencing some financial troubles herself. Like she was in a position where she was really penny pinching and shit was getting really, really tight for her before like shit start kicking up for her. I'm, I'm sure Kamora gave her money. I'm sure she gave her money. But it wasn't like the money that her dad could give her. You know, this nigga Russell Simmons got a fucking empire. This nigga sitting here as the fucking emperor. This motherfucker got an empire. He got more money than Kamora. But anyway, you know, she like, he done left me out here in the cold. I'm going to move on. Okay, cool. Cut it. I'm going to do my own thing. Out comes her Libra motherfucking rising, honey. This is where that I'm a grown woman come in, honey. She like, okay, since... My dad is going to um, lead me to my own tangents. Remember I said that uh, Leo's, we go on our own tangents and we do our thing. We march to the beat of our own drum. This is what she's doing. She's like, okay, you will respect me and see me as a grown woman because I'm going to go get a man that can take care of me. That's why she was kissing on that motherfucking um, old white man, baby. They ain't dating. They ain't, that, that ain't no dating situation, honey. That's called a professional girlfriend, okay? Our little Aoki has found her something else to do, honey. Y'all heard me say sugar baby in the mid, in the uh, beginning of the video, right? Okay? Follow me along, okay? One daddy don't take care of me. The other daddy will. Aoki is getting ready to be out here, honey. Aoki getting ready to be completely outside, honey. And she means she gonna get her some coin, Okay? Now, call her gold dig all you want to, but this is the lifestyle that her family has led in front of her. And that's exactly what she is after. She is after the man who got the most money. Okay. And uh, she seems to go after white men or, yeah, there's white men. Okay. She's going to be going after these um, or making herself available for these businessmen and these men who got long family money, honey. She ain't playing, honey. Aoki is out here about her coin because she refuses to be bound by any man again and his money. And, of course, she's going to use this to uh, her advantage. She's going to whatever it is that she, or uh, does she, what is it that she does? Does she design clothes or whatever else it is that she does? She's going to use that money and resources that whomever these men are that she's, professionally dating allegedly she's going to use these resources that these men have and this money and this power that they have to build her own empire y'all looking at little young kimura that's who that is baby aoki said i'm a grown-ass woman didn't she honey she said i'm a grown-ass woman she ain't playing honey that little leo on her shit okay and again she's coming up with these um creative energy she then sat back and plotted and had fun and, and made her a plan honey so while she is going to be you know doing a lot of partying and she's going to be successful in um a lot of the things that she does that she sets up for herself aoki needs to remember that you know that lifestyle of being with these you know men who use her for sex and provide things for her for sex and she's a professional girlfriend and all of that sugar baby type shit and shit is going to get old to her really fast and it is going to return to being reminiscent of her being controlled by her dad by her dad's money the control the the man will have just changed and it will be the same thing oh i'm gonna give you the money to do this but you got to do this what will it be worth to her? 
How long will she tolerate these behaviors? I mean, she's aware of what she's putting herself into. Now, again, she's not no, oh, poor, poor girl, poor this, poor that. No, she's pretty much aware that there is uh, a give and take situation going on. She's pretty much aware of it, baby. But right now, her mind is on them coins. Okay? Let's just pray that she does not get super manipulated down the uh, road anywhere. Okay? All right, y'all.